Um, so your practice evolved and it, and it was primarily treating acne and uh, at what point do you start talking to your colleague, uh, uh, Kathy? Yeah, so I went in my residency, one of the great things in my residency is I met my wonderful partner, Dr. Kathy Fields there. And so we were friends, uh, you know, well after we graduated from Stanford. And we talked periodically, because she was in a group as well, and she was in a group with all male doctors, as was I. And, you know, we sort of talk about different challenges that had come up, patients we were seeing, what were you doing for this problem? And so I remember telling her, boy, I'm just seeing acne like crazy. Everybody has acne. And it wasn't just teenagers who had acne. It was actually a lot of adult women. I mean, it was like there was an epidemic that was going on. And she said, yeah, you know, I'm kind of seeing the same thing too, because we were both in these suburban practices. And it was very frustrating, I think, as a doctor treating acne. The, the options, there were not a lot of great options. You could either, did you have acne as a teenager? A little bit. Okay. Did you see a dermatologist? I didn't know what a dermatologist okay, was. See? And most people didn't see dermatologists. Actually, 85% of people self-treated their acne then and still do today. So the few people that we were seeing had really been through the ringer and had been frustrated by all the options that were out there and were not getting any relief from it. So by the time they saw us, we really had to come up with an answer. And I think as a doctor, what was tough about it was I wasn't giving them great options. You know, I'm giving them antibiotics, and, which I had taken as a teenager, and they were, they'd upset my stomach, and I'd feel nauseous, and who wants to be on antibiotics for years? Because one of the things they don't tell you when you have acne is that acne doesn't go away like a sore throat in three weeks. It lasts for six or seven years when you're a teenager and like 20 years as an adult. So this is, you know, a big rock you have to carry around on your back for years and years to deal with. So are you going to be on antibiotics forever? No, nobody wants to be on that. The prescriptions I was giving them were very drying, really irritating. So people are going, hey, you're supposed to make my skin look better and it looks worse because I look like a red dried out potato chip. Um, and then the over-the-counter options weren't good either. And everything in the world of acne then was all about self-treatment. So you have a pimple, you treat a pimple. There was nothing really for prevention other than really taking oral antibiotics.